Okay, let's kick it off with 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 20. This is all King James Version Bible as always. This whole section of scripture I'm going to read. Them that sin rebuke before all, that others may also fear. Luke 17, 3. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. 2 Timothy 4, 2 and 2. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, extort with all long suffering and doctrine. Titus 1 13. This witness, extort and rebuke with all authority, let no man despise thee. Ezekiel 33 8. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. That's for all the people that love to say, Oh, don't judge me, uh, don't judge me, Paul kid, uh, Bible says don't judge. I gave you a whole slew of things that the Bible says. It's not judging, it's called rebuking, correcting, and teaching. The reason why I'm bringing this up is, first of all, if I took time to expose all the false prophets and false doctrine peddlers I see on YouTube and Facebook, it would take me probably about 30 or 40 years of doing a video every five minutes. And I'm not even exaggerating. There's millions and millions and millions of them. The only time I get involved in this kind of thing is that the Holy Spirit leads me to, and that is triggered by someone asking me to look at something that they're very impressed with, or some the latest guru or the latest little G God. So this is a, a false prophet, false doctrine, peddler, liar alert. I'm going to break down what this person believes in. You just take a little time and listen to what, he, to, to what they believe in, and then decide for yourself if they're a false doctrine peddler or not. And then I'm going to break the bad news and give you the name, and I'm probably going to lose subscriptions. I'm probably going to lose friends. I don't care. I'm not here to have subscriptions on YouTube. I'm not here to have Facebook friends. I'm here as a watchman to warn the flock, to do what that scripture just said, and to help keep people from going to hell by pointing them back to the cross of Jesus Christ. You have to decide whether you listen to the truth from the Bible or keep listening to your little G God, your guru, you know, your, your, your cult leader, because this guy has got millions of views on his channel. He's got all kinds of other ministries. So let's just go ahead and break it down. I could have dug a lot deeper too, but I just went ahead and dug and just got the first six things I could find. I probably could have found 60, but I just, I'm just i sticking with six for now. Because if you won't believe six, you won't believe 60 or 600. So let's see what this self-described modern-day prophet has to say. He claims that he is actually the spirit of a fallen angel. He says that he is the living spirit of of a fallen angel is his uh, his claim to actually who he is. He says that John the Baptist was a half human, half angel serpent seed. He says that God told him personally that all humans were reptilians. He says that God told him that we are the temple, but that the abomination of desolations is not what happens in Jerusalem when the temple gets of gets uh, desecrated. The abomination of desolation, he says, that God told him are actually aliens that live within inside each one of us as uh, humans. He also says that God told him that he is the only one, he's the one, that he's going to reveal who the Antichrist is and tell him as the one person to tell the whole world. And he says that the Archangel Michael personally led him to Jesus Christ, not by praying for salvation, to repent of sins and admit he was a sinner and ask for forgiveness? No. He led him to salvation by praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. That doesn't save anybody. And also, angels don't save anybody. But you know what's really interesting? The Archangel Michael, if you remember, he's the one that told Mary that she's going to have Jesus Christ as her son. He's the one that told, he's the one that gathers the angel army together to throw Satan out of heaven during the Great Tribulation. He is the one who comes out and is Israel's protector during the Great Tribulation. And he is, is with Jesus uh, to announce the rapture of the church the, with, the, with, with the Archangel shout. And I guess he's also the person who anointed this guy and uh, made him a Christian, according to him. Wow, he's this guy's in some pretty uh, lofty company. And, a, and also a bright light, a bright beam from heaven shone down upon him, too, when the archangel Michael spoke to him. And lastly, 
Uh, this guy said that on 11-11-11, the Hoover Dam would be blown up and that uh, Obama would call it a false flag terror operation, a terror attack, and blame someone else. Didn't happen. And what did, what did, God, hmm, what did God say in Deuteronomy about anyone who calls himself a prophet and prophesies falsely even one time in, in God's name? Uh, God said that prophet shall surely die. Hmm. People just don't have any fear. And this guy is blatantly calls himself a prophet. So I went ahead and just broke down all kind of stuff with you guys. Again, I stopped there. I can go reams and reams and reams of things, but there's just so many things that are wrong with this. So many things that are just totally wrong and totally bogus. And by the way, this guy's name is Jonathan Kleck. J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N-K-L-E-C-K. He has a, a huge YouTube channel. He has a radio show. I think he's on Facebook. He has his own website and this guy calls himself a prophet of God the anointed one I'm telling you right now my friends if someone tries to point you to this guy you run away as fast as you possibly can I went through as much video as I possibly could just couldn't handle it anymore I mean I just uh, this this whole group sent me a thing on Facebook and this guy was talking about <coughs> a lot of his lies and junk and I couldn't even get hardly into the video at all but I'm going to share a link with you in my video where you can hear from the guy's own mouth and you can watch him he just pulls on his shirt when he talks and he jerks around and and just has all these nervous ticks and it looks like it looks like the devil's trying to get out of his body somehow by the way he acts but I'm gonna go ahead and, and break it down for you and tell you where to go at the 355 mark actually go ahead and listen to this the name of the video that I'm gonna give you is called final warning part two and again I'll, I'll put this in the notes final warning part two Go to the 3 minute 55 second part where you'll hear this guy say that he is actually the spirit of a fallen angel and he'll give you some biblical name for it. And that's all you need to hear. You can dig everything else up too. It's all available in his videos. But this is one I had. You had to hear this for yourself that he is the spirit of a fallen angel. Unbelievable. This whole YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google, the churches everywhere full of, of false prophets like this guy. And people flock to him. I, I can't even imagine how they, they're they so popular. Well, I can, because Satan runs the world right now. Satan is, is the god of this world, little g-god. And people flock to him. They flock to guys like this Jonathan Cleck. And again, if you're mad at me, you're not mad at me. You're mad at Jesus Christ, because he is the one who's convicting you. The Holy Bible's convicting you, because I told you what this guy says. If you can, if you can justify this and show me where any of this stuff is true in the Bible, then more power to you. And you, and you come to me and show me the proof, and I'll apologize. But you know what? You're not going to be able to because this is all lies from the pit of hell. And if you believe this guy, then you're not even you're not even a Christian. And whoa, whoa, whoa unto you. You're going to be in the same boat as this guy if he don't repent and you don't repent for following and believing him. So understand, my friends, when the next when someone shares with you who they call the next latest and greatest prophet or some guru or little G God or some cult leader, they won't call him that, of course. They'll say it's some it's some really great guy or gal. No, don't, don't believe the hype. Don't even listen to it, man. Just run away as fast as you can. Because I'm telling you for a fact, very, very little, less than 1% of stuff that people have asked me to look for them on YouTube and for them to see if it's good or not, less than 1% has actually been biblical that I've looked at. So that means 99 point something percent is lame. Lame-o. Lame-o. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I love you, and I thank you for your love. I thank you for your mercy and your goodness. I thank you for your Holy Spirit that guides us and directs us. And sadly, so many Christians, so-called Christians, don't want to have the Holy Spirit guiding them. He's, their, he's our conscience as Christians. And when your conscience leaves you, the Holy Spirit leaves you because you've got a, a filthy, sin-ridden soul and, and, and heart, and you're filled with sin and iniquity, sin patterns, you don't have a conscience anymore. And so you don't know right from wrong. All I can do is lead you to water. All I can do is lead you to the living water of Jesus Christ. If you don't drink, it's up to you. I can tell you the truth from the Bible. I can do what the Bible commands us all to do, to rebuke, correct, and teach. And that's all I can do. If you don't want to believe what I say, it's between you and God. My job is done. I just pray, Jesus, that you would just open blind eyes, take blinders off, and remove scales from eyes, and that you'd rebuke, correct, convict, teach, hound, drive people to sackcloth and ashes if you have to. Don't give them a moment's rest, happiness, joy, comfort, peace, satisfaction in their life, nothing, until they fall on the knees and repent if they're backslidden. Come to know you as Lord and Savior if they're unsaved and repent if they follow people like this Jonathan Klecker, any number of people out there that are just such liars. They're just so Satan-led. It just breaks my heart. I ask all these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you watch this video 
and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again the third day, went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. Since that time, you've been making a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me my sins, Jesus. Please cleanse my heart. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. You pray this prayer. Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. Now, once you get saved, get you a King James Version Bible. It's a living, breathing Word of God. It'll, it'll sniff out people like this Jonathan Cleck and all the liars and false prophets out there. If you read it every day, it'll feed your body. It'll feed your spirit and your soul the way you feed your body with food and water every day. Pray to Jesus every day. He's your new best friend. He loves you and wants to talk to you. He'll help you avoid liars like this guy I talked about. Make sure you get water baptized at a Christian church, immersion baptized, dunked under water. If you've been sprinkled baptized in the past, it doesn't count. Do it over again. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit I was talking about, sanctified from head to toe. You should draw closer to Christ by reading His Word, by praying, by living for Him. It will help you to be able to sniff out people like this Jonathan Cleck and the millions and millions and millions of false doctrine peddlers and false prophets out there so you can recognize them when they come and show up. Bring your King James Version Bible to church. And when the pastor preaches, if I talk, if anyone talks or writes or says anything about the Bible, you go ahead and shut your Bible and you walk out, you unfriend, you unsubscribe. If anything we say does not match your Bible, you do it. It's very, very important, my friends. Because anyone who would lie to you in Jesus' name, anyone who would lie to you about what God the Father says, they will drag you to hell right with them. If you have questions, comments, concerns, you want me to pray for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. Didn't earn it, didn't deserve it. Praise the Lord, I've got it. I prayed for it and he gave it to me. And I'll pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. And I know God will answer that prayer if it's, if it's within his holy will. If he does, it will be all because of his praise, honor, glory, power, strength, might, majesty, love, compassion, mercy, kindness. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in God's kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. I'm nothing but a watchman, my friends. All I do, I have no agenda. I have no political agenda, no other kind of agenda. I just tell you the truth from the King James Version Bible, and that's it. The rest is between you and God. Like I said, I can lead you to water. I can't make you drink. Please share the link to this channel, this video, with friends, neighbors, co-workers, with loved ones, with strangers. Drop into the blog. Plant the seed and walk away. Let God water it so it can grow. The cotton candy, powder puff, syrupy, fluff garbage you hear all across the internet, all across pulpits, all across everywhere, all it will do is, is lead you straight to hell. All the lying, false prophets and false doctrine peddlers will lead you straight to hell. The only thing that leads to heaven, to eternal life, that convicts you of your sins, is a King James Version Bible. Verse, chapter, book, cover to cover, Genesis to Revelation. All 66 books, the way I preach it on this channel. Not because I'm anything, because God's everything. All glory to Him. Love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you. Thanks.